former NASA astronaut Mike Massimino joins us from Russellville, Arkansas <laughs> this morning. One of the best spots to catch a glimpse of the show. Mike, good morning. Mm -hmm. You've been to space mm -hmm. many times. You've seen it all. <laughs> Tell us what's special about this particular eclipse. Well, I think it's, it's something we all can experience as a reminder that we're part of this cosmic dance that goes on in our universe. And we don't always realize that in our day-to-day -day life. I realized that when I was in space, I could see the sun in a black sky, I could see the moon, I could see the stars, I could look back at the Earth and see it rotating. And I realized that we're part of this, we're part of this, this system, this cosmic dance that's been going on for billions of years. And this is, today is a reminder of that, and we can enjoy it and learn from it right here on planet Earth. Yeah, there are very few things that are collective viewing around the globe, and this, this is one of those things. Um, you know, you've seen a lot of these things, and there, there's a lot of gee whiz to it, but is there some science behind it, things we can learn, Mike? Oh, there's a tremendous amount. Uh, I, I, what, what is amazing about this, I, I, it's, it's I mean, very coincidental maybe, but the, the sun is 400 times further from us than the moon, and it's also 400 times larger. So what that means is that when the moon, and what's happening today, the moon covers the sun perfectly, and it allows us to see the corona, the scientists to study the corona, which is the, the ejections of the plasma from the moon, uh, the space weather that was mentioned in the earlier segment. They can study that today unlike any other, any other time. So we're gonna learn a lot about the sun, about uh, space weather, uh, about our solar system, so it's a great opportunity for scientists to learn. And I think it's also a great opportunity for young people. There's a lot of young people here in Russellville that are very excited. It's a chance to be inspired and excited about science and about space and about what might be coming in the future as well. It, it really is. It's so marvelous to think about the world, the mm -hmm. universe that we inhabit. Real quickly, Mike, if you're watching the eclipse, you have to have these glasses, not just at that moment, but for, the, for how long? How long around the actual event should yeah. you be putting these glasses on? Yeah, you should be never looking at the sun without protection. When we were in space, we always had sun protection. We had really dark welder's glasses when we were doing rendezvous if we had to look into the sun. When I spacewalked, I had a gold visor that I would put down over my face to protect my eyes. And you should be wearing those glasses or using a pinhole camera if you're going to view the eclipse. And that means any time that it's not absolute totality, you need to have those glasses on. Protect yourself from the eyes. For, right. Protect your eyes from, mm -hmm. the, from the sun. Yeah, Mike. Have fun today. Thank, Thank you, Mike. You. And we're going to have a lot more Thank throughout you. the morning. Thank mm -hmm. you. We've got live coverage of the eclipse. It starts at 2 o'clock Eastern here on NBC, also streaming on NBC News Now. And Peacock, we're all going to get together and be there watching the eclipse together for the special this afternoon. A little viewing party. Look forward to that. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.